Hi, my name is Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you guys one simple solution to many, many issues with Spark Air Studio and your filters. But before we start, it would be nice if you subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Let's go! So, you're designing your AR filter and having a great time. But what problems can you face? Here are a few examples. You created a filter and it looks good inside Spark Air Studio and even in the Spark AR app, but it doesn't work on Instagram. You're trying to film video, but your filter doesn't work the way it should. Or your filter works well on your phone, but when you send a test link to your client or a team member, he doesn't see it. I don't see it. The link doesn't open the filter. Sometimes all that his phone shows is the loading icon or a very basic tool or method which you have implemented a million times before doesn't want to play its role this time. It usually happens to retouching materials, backgrounds or patches. All these problems make you upset, you're crying and calling your mom, but she doesn't know how to help you and tells you better go do the dishes. You better go do the dishes. So, what to do? Save your project in an old, stable version of Spark Air Studio. By saying stable, I mean the last version which worked for your project. You know that Spark Air Studio is updated every two weeks or so, and sometimes they fix one thing and crash another. You know, we all just human beings. Anyway, that's why you always need to keep the old versions of Spark Air Studio when installing an update. For example, I had to save my project in the version 87 instead of 90, which is the latest version right now. Because the person who tested my filter didn't see it on his Instagram. I hope this video will save your nerves and time. Don't forget to check the description for useful links and see you very soon.